let's look at this set. Nine persons, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, are working in TCS, but at different locations, among Goa, Delhi, and Chennai. They work in three shifts, general, noon, and night shift. General shift is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Noon, noon shift is from 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. And night shift is from 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. Each person at location takes a break of half an hour. Persons working in general shift can take breaks between 12.30 p.m. and 1.30 p.m. While in noon shift can take breaks between 8.15 p.m. and 9.15 p.m. And in night shift can take break between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Exactly one person works in each shift in each location. Okay. This is interesting because if exactly one person works in each shift in each location, there are nine people, three locations, three shifts. So there will be a three by three matrix that we have to work with. Let me create lines. The locations are Goa, Delhi, and Chennai. And then we have general, noon, and night shift. Nine people have to come in here. The timings and everything information is also given there. We can check it in later. First, Q and X work the same shift, while S, U, R work in different shifts and are from different locations. So what we get from this is Q and X belong to the same row because they work in the same shift. And of course, that means they work from different locations. S, U, R work in different shifts and are from different locations. So S, U, R, different shift and location. In other words, interpretation wise, what I can understand this is S, U, R are going to be three numbers which cannot come in the same row or same column with each other. Okay. V works in Chennai but does not work in the general shift. So now I can put V here. V is here, but this spot is definitely not V. General shift spot is definitely not V. Neither S nor U work in general shift. So S cannot come here. U cannot come here, which should also be an indication because S, U and R had to work in different shift in different location because S cannot come here. U cannot come here. Can I say R definitely works in general shift? This is guaranteed. R definitely works in general shift. This is guaranteed. Next, T works in night shift, but does not work at the same location as P. So T works in night shift. I don't know where that is, but uh, does not work in the same location as P. So T, P, this cannot happen. Also P does not work in Delhi and has the same shift timing as T. Okay, so P and T are both in night shift, but P does not work in Delhi. This cannot happen. Okay, W, T, V are from different locations. Okay, so W, T and V are from different locations. See, so far what we're doing is we're only capturing guaranteed information in the fi final table that we have. Everything else, we are creating codes for them so that we don't have to go back and read these sentences over and over again. X took a break before Q and R. Okay. If X is taking, X is took a break before Q and R. X is with Q in the same shift. Okay. And R is in a shift uh, which is either with X or earlier. Okay, there is a gap of 15 minutes between the starting time of the breaks taken by persons working in the general shift. Now, in the general shift, your break timings were 12.30 p.m. and 1.30 p.m. So, the three people who are taking breaks will take 12.30 to 1, 12.45 to 1.15, and 1 to 1.30. These are the three break timings. Again, we can't really capture it in the table here right now. We'll worry about it later. S took a, 50, uh, S took a break 15 minutes before T who took a break 15 minutes before P. Now, this is interesting. If the gap between two breaks is 15 minutes, they have to be in the same shift. And P and T we know is in the night shift. So S has to be in the night shift. If S has to be in the night shift, can I also go ahead and say S, U, and R had to be in different shifts. R is here. S is here. So U has to be in the noon shift. 
you has to be in the noon shift additionally this we i know he cannot come in the general shift the night shift three people are identified so we is definitely coming in the noon shift he cannot come in we cannot come in the night shift we cannot come in the general shift so we is definitely in the noon shift at chennai okay w is from delhi and takes a break from 8:15 pm to 8:45 pm which means if w is from delhi and he took a break between 8:15 pm and 8:45 pm he is definitely in the noon shift so w is here and he took a break from 8:15 to 8:45 so 8:15 to 8:45 break i've written now the other person in the noon shift i also know has to be you so the three people in noon shift are known three people in night shift are known the only people left are p sorry the only people left are q and x so q and x have to be in the morning shift or the general shift q and x have to be in the general shift okay which is the same for the person acha w is from delhi and takes a break from 8:15 to 8:45 which is the same for the person who works in the noon shift in chennai so this person chennai noon shift is also 8:15 to 8:45 is when he takes his break 8:15 to 8:45 is when he takes his break okay so this line is entirely done the break for s s took a break of 15 minutes before t who took a break of 15 minutes before p can i say s has to take his break because they are working in the night shift s has to take his break from 5 to 5:30 t has to take a break from 5:15 to 5:45 and then p has to take a break from 5:30 to 6 pm okay additionally s u and r pay attention S U N R had to be from Goa or Delhi or Chennai. Goa or Delhi or Chennai in three different locations. U is already in Goa, so R cannot come in Goa. R cannot come in Goa. This is not R. S cannot come in Goa. S cannot come in Goa. S U N R. This is done. What else can I work with? Hmm. T works in night shift but does not work the same location as P. Okay, this is done. Also, P does not work in Delhi and has the same shift timing set P. P does not work in Delhi. S is not here. P is not here. Okay. So either T can come or S can come. Two cases can come. Can't work. W, T, and V. Okay. W, T, and V are from different locations. Look at statement four. W is from Delhi. V is from Chennai, so T has to be from Goa. If T is from Goa, if T is from Goa, and T takes a break from five fifteen to five forty five. Now the in Delhi T cannot come, so it has to be S here. S will work from uh, take a break from five to five thirty, and finally the only person left is P who will take a break from five thirty to. Six. This is also known. Now see, S is here, U is here. So R has to be here. R has to be here. Okay. Now the two people left here have to be Q and X. Let me just check. X took a break of break before Q and R. There is a gap of fifteen minutes. Okay. Uh, Q and X work in the same shift, while S U R work in different shifts from different locations. That is agreeable. V works in Chennai but does not work in the general shift. Done. Neither S nor U work in general shift. Done. T works in night shift but does not work in the same location as P. Done. Also, P does not work in Delhi. Done and has the same shift timing as T. Done. W, T, and V. W, T, and V are from different locations. Done. Mm -hmm. X took a break before Q and R. Okay. So if X took a break before Q and R, morning shift or general shift, we are working with. So this has to be between twelve thirty to one is his break. X took a break before Q and R. X has a break from twelve thirty to one, and there is a gap of fifteen minutes between the starting time of breaks between the persons working in general shift. Now for Q and R, the two break timings are going to be twelve forty five to one fifteen. Or one to one thirty, and we don't know who takes what break. 
Also, we don't know the precise location of Q and X. So I'll just put Q or X, X or Q. Okay, I can finish this off here. Who among them works in Delhi in the general shift? This cannot be determined. This cannot be determined. So the answer to the question has to be D. Next, which of the following is true regarding the location at which U is working his shift? U is working in the noon shift in Goa. So it has to be option D. Next, which of the following teams works in Chennai? R, V, and P. R, V, and P. So option B. If R takes the break before Q, so R will take a break from 12.45 to 1.15 and Q will take a break from 1 to 1.30. So if R takes a break before Q, then what time did R take the break? R took a break at 12.45 to 1.15 and that is the entirety of this set. By the end, we are unsure of where Q and X work and we are also unsure of where Q, when Q and R take their precise breaks. But everything else is exactly known.